2024, a global economic roller coaster. The U.S. economy takes a dive as China and Russia boom. Will America lose its economic crown? Don't miss this deep dive into the shifting economic landscape. The global economic landscape in 2024 is a tale of two contrasting narratives, a stark dichotomy between the struggling U.S. economy and the burgeoning growth of China. The United States, once the undisputed economic powerhouse of the world, is now grappling with a series of interconnected challenges, many of which can be traced back to the Biden administration's policies. Like a ship caught in a perfect storm, the U.S. economy is being battered by a combination of excessive government, spending a laser focus on financial markets at the expense of real production and runaway inflation that is eroding the purchasing power of ordinary Americans. Despite the Biden administration's claims of robust GDP growth, the reality on the ground tells a different story. While Wall Street may be celebrating record highs, Main Street is feeling the pinch. The real economy, the part that produces tangible goods and services, is either stagnant or in decline. Manufacturing output has contracted for the past six months, with factory closures and layoffs becoming increasingly common. The once mighty American industrial base, which once powered the global economy, is now a shadow of its former self. This decline is not just a statistical anomaly, it's a reflection of a deeper structural problem. The focus on financial engineering and short-term gains has come at the expense of long-term investment in productive sectors. The result is a hollowing out of the real economy, leaving it vulnerable to external shocks and unable to compete on the global stage. The consequences of this economic mismanagement are far-reaching inflation fueled by trillions of dollars in government spending has soared to a 40-year high reaching 91% in June 2024. This means that the average American household is now paying significantly more for everyday essentials like food, gas, and housing. The rising cost of living is squeezing household budgets, forcing many to make difficult choices and cut back on discretionary spending. This in turn is having a ripple effect on businesses as consumer demand weakens and sales decline. The modern American consumer, much like a weary traveler lugging a suitcase overflowing with financial burdens, is feeling the pinch. The cost of living is skyrocketing, yet wages remain stagnant, much like a treadmill where one runs relentlessly but never seems to move forward. This creates a financial strain that is slowly eroding the middle class, casting a shadow over the once bright beacon of the American dream. The economic landscape of 2024 paints a stark picture inflation is at a 40-year high. The Consumer Price Index CPI has risen by 83% in the past year, and real average hourly earnings have decreased by 28%. It's a perfect storm of financial pressures that is forcing many Americans to reassess their spending habits and lifestyle choices. The automobile industry, a bellwether for the overall economic health, provides a clear illustration of this struggle. The average monthly payment for a new car has ballooned to $750, a figure that is simply unattainable for a large portion of the population. This has led to a surge in car repossessions as families are forced to choose between putting food on the table or keeping their vehicles. Companies like Meta, formerly Facebook and Amazon, have announced layoffs affecting thousands of employees. Even more concerning is the practice of ghost jobs where companies post fake job openings to gauge the talent pool or maintain a facade of stability. This not only creates false hope for job seekers, but also masks the true extent of the unemployment problem. The economic malaise is even reaching the upper echelons of society. Affluent individuals who once fueled the luxury market are now tightening their belts and postponing investments. This reticence is mirrored by Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, who has been sitting on a record $147 billion cash pile, signaling a lack of confidence in the current investment landscape. Across the Pacific and Eurasian landmass, a different economic narrative is unfolding. China and Russia, often criticized for their political systems and economic policies, are experiencing a renaissance in their real economies. This is not the speculative boom and bust cycle of financial markets, but a tangible growth in factories, production lines, and tangible goods. In Russia, the industrial sector is thriving, fueled by a combination of government investment and a defiant response to Western sanctions. The war in Ukraine, while devastating, has paradoxically spurred domestic production as Russia seeks to become more self-reliant. 
Official figures may be unreliable, but anecdotal evidence and expert analysis suggest a significant uptick in industrial activity. This is a stark contrast to the predictions of economic collapse that many Western analysts made in the wake of the sanctions. China, the world's manufacturing powerhouse, is also witnessing a surge in industrial output. The government's focus on Made in China 2025 and other industrial policies has led to massive investments in advanced manufacturing robotics and artificial intelligence. While some criticize this as state-led capitalism, the results are undeniable. China's factories are humming, churning out everything from electric vehicles to high-tech gadgets. This growth is not without controversy, however. The U.S. accuses China of creating overcapacity, flooding global markets with cheap goods and undercutting American manufacturers. The trade war between the two countries is a testament to this tension. The economic trajectories of the U.S., China, and Russia highlight a fundamental divergence in economic strategies. The U.S., the world's largest economy, is heavily reliant on its financial sector, Wall Street, is the heartbeat of American capitalism, where trillions of dollars are traded daily in stocks, bonds, and other financial instruments. This focus on short-term gains and shareholder value has led to a decline in manufacturing and a hollowing out of the middle class. The financialization of the American economy has created immense wealth for some, but it has also left many behind. China and Russia, on the other hand, are playing the long game. They are investing in their industrial base-building factories and training a skilled workforce. This may not lead to immediate profits, but it lays the foundation for sustainable economic growth in the future. This approach is reminiscent of the post-war era when countries like Japan and South Korea used industrial policy to transform themselves from agrarian societies into economic powerhouses. The implications of this divergence are significant. A strong industrial base is essential for national security, technological innovation, and economic resilience. A country that relies too heavily on financial markets is vulnerable to shocks and instability. The 2008 financial crisis is a prime example of this. While the U.S. is still the world's dominant economic power, its relative position is declining, China is catching up rapidly, and Russia is carving out a niche for itself in the global economy. The current tensions and disagreements suggest that the path ahead will be bumpy. The world is witnessing a tectonic shift in the global economic landscape, and the outcome of this shift will have profound consequences for the 21st century. It's crucial to note that the U.S. has the potential to turn things around. By shifting focus towards supporting the real economy and encouraging investment in productive sectors, it could potentially reverse the current downward trend. The current administration seems to lack the understanding or the political will to implement such changes. Instead, they resort to blaming external factors and attempting to stifle the growth of other countries. The situation in Europe is even more dire with higher inflation and a contracting industrial sector, Germany in particular, is struggling despite government attempts to stimulate the economy. The blame for these problems is often misplaced with politicians like Olaf Scholz, attributing Germany's economic woes to external factors rather than addressing the root causes. In conclusion, the global economic landscape is complex and multifaceted, while the U.S. economy is showing signs of weakness, China and Russia are experiencing growth. The diverging paths of these major economies could have significant implications for the future of the global economic order. It remains to be seen whether the U.S. will take the necessary steps to address its internal issues or continue to blame external forces for its economic woes.